Now let's take you to the U.S. where Nigeria is seeking partnership with the American government on food security. Vice President Kashim Shatima made the request when he met with Mr. Kari Fowler, U.S. Special Envoy for Global Food Security, as part of his engagements in the United States of America. State House correspondent Abrahman Jibrila brings us details. Not a positive increase. A decline in some yields. If you Straight to the point, of the interaction focused on identification of key areas where Nigeria will require urgent support towards addressing challenges in the agricultural sector, mechanized farming, quality seeds production, and smart agriculture are areas Nigeria is seeking partnership. We'll keep the relationship, we'll nurture it because more than ever before, we are facing real food security challenges and <clears throat> we have to think outside the box. We have to look for ingenious solutions that can help us to cross the Rubicon. Mm -hmm. and I believe with your support, the political will is there now more than ever before. Mm -hmm. So that together we can save humanity and sub the human race. In Nigeria we have research institutes that are devoted to Millet and Sogo, you can partner with them. The Lake Chad Research Institute in, in Borno State has that mandate to dwell on Millet and Sogo. Mm -hmm. And they are doing excellently well. They are common with some breeds of Sogo and Millet that the yield has literally multiplied. The U.S. Special Envoy on Global Food Security said government, in partnership with other stakeholders, has launched an agricultural initiative assuring that Africa will be prioritized. And in summary, what we're trying to do in working with African countries is two things. One is to help African countries at the national level, governments, down to the farm level, manage the soil more properly to ensure sustainability and productivity. So to do much more sophisticated soil mapping and analytics and modeling to give you the kind of information you would need to um, make better decisions about land use, where to plant, what kind of infrastructure would be needed in certain areas based on the, what the soil can give you. Or can't. The U.S. government has also established a $100 million multi-donor trust fund between the International Fund for Agricultural Development and the United States Agency for International Development to provide long-term funding for a program aimed at improving indigenous African crops and proper soil management for all to ensure sustainability and productivity. Abraham Jibrila. NTA News.